How long will a can of ham last in your pantry? Okay, so this video is about canned proteins and how long they will last. So let me get this out of the way. In the description below to this video, I'm going to have links to the department, United States Department of Agriculture, and they give you the times and uh, how long meat will last and other canned goods um, like high acid foods don't last as long there's obviously there's acid in there and it can eat the can away and spoil your food so first and foremost when it comes to any canned good especially the protein well anything as a matter of fact it doesn't matter if it's protein if it's corn or if it's uh, canned fruit if your can has any dents, dings, bulges, rust, or if there's leaking coming out of it, discard that food, it's not good. You don't want to get a foodborne illness like botulism, which is basically a neurotoxin and it can kill, kill you. It kills people worldwide, kills people in this country every year. So remember that, dinks, dents, uh, dings, dents, bulges, leakage, rust, discard it, save your life, throw it away. If you open up a can of protein and it stinks really bad, toss it. So let's get into the meat of the video and why I'm doing this. I had a co-worker who was telling me she was going, she threw some canned goods away because it was past the expiration date and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And this is a very smart person. Um, and she didn't understand what she was doing, I don't think. And I, I educated her and I pulled up the USDA website and I showed her, I said, you know, your canned food doesn't say expires on this date. I think the only thing that the Department of Agriculture requires an expiration date that says expires on this date is baby food. So. Um, I have some anchovies right here because I make my own uh, Caesar salad dressing and I like anchovies. I have some canned tuna, ham, spam, uh, salmon, and I'm going to read what it says on the back or on the side of this one says, this is Best Buy. It doesn't say expires. It says Best Buy. That's on the anchovies. The tuna says best if used by. The ham says best before. So again, link in the description below on the USDA's uh, website. It says canned ham will last up to five years. As long as it doesn't have any dents, dings, bulges, leakage, or rust, it'll be fine. Um, and I want, like I said, I want to do this video because I have a friend who's throwing stuff away that's perfectly fine. It might lose some flavor, it might lose some nutrients, but it's still gonna have calories, it's still gonna have some nutrients, and if you add enough seasoning to it, you can make anything taste good. Trust me, you know, I was a grunt in the Marine Corps, man, and that food they fed us was, some of it was trash. But with a little Tabasco sauce and some seasonings we'd bring to the field with us, it's pretty palatable. So that's the pre-canned stuff that I wanted to talk about. These are proteins that you can eat and that you can store and that will last you a super long time just because our economy is so jacked up. Uh, we'll be doing a video on canning meat. Uh, this is venison we canned in 2020. Uh, it's two years old. They address that in the USDA website. They say, you know, home canned goods are good for two years. Well, I think that's because they want us to go buy the commercial stuff because I've eaten canned meat that was five years old and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But if you want to can, you can can your own meat. You can can your vegetables. You can can whatever you want. Well, not whatever you want, but for the most part, you can can your own food. Um, you can make your own jellies, your jams, all kinds of stuff. Again, economy bad. Pre-buying your food is good. Don't hoard, but go get what you need. It's really important. Um, and freeze-dried goods. Now, freeze-dried, you know, this has a 25-year shelf life. Uh, 
Most people don't have freeze dryers. This video isn't about freeze drying. I will have a link in the description below to some of the freeze dried foods you can buy. I've eaten Augustine Farms, I've eaten Mountain House, I've eaten Four Patriots, and probably some other ones just for when I used to go camping up in the Sierra Nevadas all the time. It's, you add water, uh, hot water is obviously better because everybody wants a warm meal, but it doesn't have to be hot. You just need to rehydrate that food. So there's all kinds of things you can do to become more self-reliant as this economy takes a giant nosedive. And I hope this video is helpful. Pass it on to your friends. Read the links in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment in the description below. Uh, please like and share this video. I'm trying to grow this channel. We all need to get ready. And again, thanks for taking the time for watching AB Prepping Out.